Hi guys, in this video, uh, I'll tell you how to find out uh, the center of mass of a uniform semicircular ring or a wire. So the scenario is already drawn here. I have chosen X and Y axis and this is my origin. So the radius of the wire or a ring of the semicircular form is R. So I have chosen the elemental length dx and having mass dm. Let the mass of the entire wire is m. So, like I have uh, uh, chosen linear mass density lambda, I will choose the same thing here, which is mass dm by dx, which is also capital M by entire length. Since R is the radius, the entire length would be uh, semicircle length, length of the semicircle, which is pi into R. So, this is the lambda. Now, let me explain you something here. The center of mass is having only y coordinate and no x coordinate because by symmetry we know that center of mass of this semicircular ring would lie anywhere on this y axis. If you choose the entire ring, obviously center of mass is at the center. In a cut of the ring, the center of mass shifts upwards and it would lie anywhere here on this y axis. So I I could only find y. So that's enough because the center of mass of x coordinate is 0. So here if I find the center of mass of y coordinate that would be the center of mass from the origin and since there is no x coordinate. So by definition the center of mass of y coordinate is y cm is equal to integral y dm by total mass m. Now what is this y? How does it y come from? So, this point P is having a coordinate. So, the point P is simply R cos theta and R sin theta, which is the x coordinate is R cos theta and y coordinate is R sin theta. So, my y coordinate is this R sin theta, which means simply y is R sin theta. And I also have d theta and R. So, this elemental leg length dx can be written as dx is equal to r into including angle d theta so i have dx is equal to r d theta and y is r sin theta so let's substitute all these things here so the center of mass y cm is equal to integral y is r sin theta into dm divided by total mass so let's go ahead integral r sin theta dm is what dm is m by pi r into dx so i can write dm as capital m by pi r into dx so i would write that pi r into dx divided by the entire mass m so m gets cancelled also r gets cancelled so i have 1 by pi outside and i have integral sin theta into dx is again r d theta so i would write this as r d theta so r also comes out i have r by pi into integration of sin theta d theta now it's time to uh, get the limits so the value limits can be from this variable so d theta so we the limits are from 0 to this point which is making an angle 0 to 180 degrees so the limits are 0 to pi sin theta d theta so this is again r by pi so integration of sin is minus cosine so minus cos theta from 0 to pi so if i substitute the limits i get r by pi into substituting pi first minus cos pi minus of minus plus cos 0 degrees cos 0 is 1 cos pi is minus 1 so 1 minus of minus 1 it would be r by pi into 1 plus 1 which is finally 2 r by pi so therefore this is the answer and 2 r by pi is a height above which from the origin or it's from the center the center of mass of a semicircular ring lies so here lies the center of mass so the center of mass a uniform semicircular ring or a wire is at a distance or at a height 2r by 5 from 2r by pi from the origin 
so that's it thanks for watching